Hello. Is anyone there? I just want to show you a uh, wafer paper technique. If you are there, you can see me, you can hear me, please say something so I know you are there. Alaikum Assalam. Okay, good. In my last live, uh, when I showed the hydrangeas, wafer paper hydrangeas then at that time i told you that if you have the cuttings of the wafer paper don't throw them and put them in a ziploc bag or a airtight container and you can use it for a very beautiful technique and i uh, told you that i'll show you sometimes so i thought to share with you what i made it so these this is what is all the cuttings of the wafer paper i never throw the uh, whenever i cut the petals or whatever make the wings so i don't throw the cuttings of the wafer paper and i keep them in a ziploc bag so i put them in the coffee grinder and here is what i got like this and this one will give you just like a velvet effect to your cake so I made it so I will show you how I got this one so here is a dummy cake that is covered in marble effect fondant I will show you how you can enhance this so here is the container here is my ground wafer paper you can see or you can uh, remain put it back in the uh, ziploc bag and you can add the dust color there and you can shake it and color it but i wanted to show you here that's why and this is uh, edible luster dust by sugar flare this is silver sparkle so I'm going to put some into this and here I have got sugar craft edible luster dust silver color and I'm going to put some in this with a dry brush I will just mix all this together just catch the powder that is on the sides of the bowl so you can do it in a better way in a ziploc bag because in a ziploc bag it won't sp uh, like it won't spread here and there this is a bit whitish still if you want this color you can use it and this is what I want but I will uh, keep some uh, if we eat it it doesn't give any taste it it's it's a paper and it won't taste anything and if like on fondant covered cakes 
usually people do like I do that I don't eat fondant so I just peel off the fondant before I eat so people usually do that so keeping that in mind you can just peel off the fondant and obviously uh, this will peel off as well so uh, as far as decorations are concerned so uh, whatever the theme of your cake is people usually don't eat everything that is being applied to the cake for the decorations like the cake toppers like the flowers or anything if it is 2d or 3d so same is the case with this if you apply any technique any different thing to the cake so don't bother about the taste much because usually people peel off the fondant that's what i think so i will keep some this one i will keep some uh, white one so i will put it in the bag so i can use it and i will darker the color in this one no, this is you can use any dust color but only dust color uh, not the gel color or the liquid color you cannot color it yes if you want to you can pre-color the wafer paper cuttings but it's very time consuming because it's very difficult to color each and every tiny piece of the wafer paper and if you have a whole wafer paper and you want to uh, use this technique yes then you can pre-color it with the gel color or whatever uh, uh, technique you use to color the color your wafer paper and then you put it in your coffee grinder when it is completely dry and then you can do it I will put a little bit more or this antique silver I have I will use a little bit to darken the shade so I will check if there is a difference not much I will add a little bit more silver sparkle you can use any brand and any dust color that you want to according to their theme So it is thoroughly mixed I suppose I can compare it yes there is a difference now between the two of these this is lighter shade and this is darker and what I'm going to do I'm going to put it back in the bowl or container you can see now the difference between the two okay I will clean the surface and now I will take my uh, wax paper you can use your baking paper or whatever to catch the surplus one okay I'm gonna put it on this okay and I will use my edible glue I will apply it on the top so it is easy for you to see so you can see that this is as I told you this is marble effect fondant but how you can enhance it or how you can beautify it more is by using this cuttings so I'm going to spread it on that you can use gloves as well while doing this technique Okay. 
this is dummy so i can hold it up and do it like this but if it's a real cake you can use another dry brush and you can just scrape off the extra or the surplus one and now i will use here the darker shade you can use water or edible glue anything can work okay so i'm going to use this one now thanks for joining who have joined us and i just wanted to share my technique with you people so from now on you won't throw your wafer paper cuttings okay so this was on the top i will show you on the side as well I am using the dummy though, so I have the uh, advantage of holding it in my hand but if you are using, let me grab my uh, cake turntable. hope you can see it now okay I have applied the edible glue here and like you attach the sprinkles or any decoration in the same way I will just hold it in my hand and will make it stick to the surface and the paper down there or anything a tray or whatever you want to put down there it will catch the excess and you can see I'm using the same that is falling down all around and now I can easily put it back in my bowl this is very easy technique and you can make your cake look so pretty by using this simple technique and it doesn't cost anything because you are using just your wafer paper cuttings And same is the case with fondant if there is any old fondant as you might have seen my YouTube video where I have shown how to use your old fondant for making molds your own molds they are not permanent molds but you can use them 
even for a single time by using any object that you have at your home so I will show you this one and this is on the sides of the cake how pretty it looks and you can compare it with this side this is dull but if you want this you can have this but if you want to enhance it so you can use this technique on your cake and with different colors you can use rainbow colors if your cake is rainbow from inside you can use rainbow colors and you can uh, make the cuttings uh, grind the vapor paper color it with, in rainbow colors and you can use it definitely it will look very beautiful and pretty and hope you like my this little technique and uh, uh, keeping this in mind that you can I am live now and I can, you people can hear me I have to do an announcement a little announcement and that is that till 1st September on my online school uh, sugar art school that is Gato uh, studio uh, only till 1st September if you subscribe to buy annual or annual subscription then you can win one month totally free and uh, you will really enjoy the classes the upcoming classes and the different tutorials different live sessions that will be going whole through the year and uh, if you subscribe till 1st September, if you go for biannual or annual, in both cases, if you subscribe till 1st September, you can win one month free. So, hope you will join and you will learn a lot many things and we will do so much fun together. And this is a really fun thing too that uh, I did and I wanted to share with you. So, in the same way, we will keep on sharing our knowledge with you so hope you like my this uh, little tutorial and hope hope you stay tuned always uh, yes I'm using CMC edible glue but you can use water uh, it doesn't matter because it's wafer paper and it works well with the water as well so you can use that too and you do try it with the rainbow colors when I was doing it I got the idea how beautiful it will look with the rainbow colors uh, and uh, if when they will cut the cake it will be in, in from inside it will be rainbow cake and from outside as well so it will really look pretty and on unicorn cakes you can also try this so thanks for joining thanks for being here thank you bye bye